Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. The exhilarating premiere of The Bad Batch has been released and what an episode it was. Among the myriad of wild moments in the episode, one of the biggest revelations we saw involved The Bad Batch's sharpshooter, Crosshair. During the episode, we learned that Crosshair's inhibitor chip was significantly less mutated than that of his Bad Batch brethren, causing him to be the only member of The Bad Batch who wasn't immune to the effects of their inhibitor chip. Because of this, Crosshair's programming made him want to participate in Order 66 and also made him want to kill Saw. Guerrera and those the Empire deemed as insurgents on Onderon, putting Crosshair at odds with the rest of the Bad Batch. This resulted in Admiral Wilhuff Tarkin ordering the Kaminoan Nalase to intensify the effects of Crosshair's inhibitor chip, further amplifying Crosshair's loyalty to the Empire over his loyalty to that of his team. By the end of the episode, Crosshair was tasked with confronting his former teammates who were attempting to escape Kamino with the young female clone Omega, setting him up as a main adversary to the Bad Batch in Season 1, if not beyond that. Although Crosshair will be hunting down the Bad Batch moving forward, is there a possibility that we could see him rejoin the Bad Batch down the line? I think so and for a few reasons. We've already seen in Season 6 and 7 of The Clone Wars what happens to clones after their inhibitor chips are removed, which allows them to come to their senses and snap out of the programming that forces them to be loyal to the Empire and their superiors. In The Clone Wars Season 7 episode Shattered, we saw Ahsoka use the Force to aid the medical scan that searched for Captain Rex's inhibitor chip. Once the medical scan found Captain Rex's inhibitor chip and it was removed, Rex found himself no longer under control of the chip's effects that made the clones extremely loyal to the Empire and their orders. To remove Rex's inhibitor chip, Ahsoka used the Force to aid in finding Rex's chip so that it could be removed. This is pertinent for a few reasons. One, because we know that a clone can have their inhibitor chip removed and not die. Two, because we know that the Force can be used to aid in this process. And three, because a scanner can be used to find a clone's inhibitor chip. Chip. At the end of Episode 1 of The Bad Batch, we saw Tech wanting to scan Wrecker to make sure the wound he sustained during their fight with Crosshair wasn't too bad. That scanner could potentially be used by The Bad Batch to scan other clones to try to find their inhibitor chips. Additionally, just a moment or so after that, we saw Hunter mention that The Bad Batch are going to be traveling to Sector J-19, which is the sector that the planet Seleucami is in. Seleucami was home to the former clone trooper Cut Law Queen, who we learned in Season 2 of The Clone Wars deserted the clone army, married, and started a family. If the Bad Batch are indeed headed to Seleucami to meet up with Cut, he'll most likely still have his inhibitor chip, which could potentially cause him to attack and or try to capture the Bad Batch. This could then force the Bad Batch to try to remove Cut's inhibitor chip or try to stymie its effects on Cut. Since we know that the Force can be used to aid in the removal of an inhibitor chip, there's a very real possibility that the young clone Omega could assist with this as it appears she's Force-sensitive. This would then open up the door for the Bad Batch to work on capturing Crosshair, removing his inhibitor chip, and getting the sharpshooter back on their side. Now, this is all just speculation and me theorizing here. We may not see the Bad Batch meet up with Cut or remove his inhibitor chip, and Omega might not even be Force sensitive. However, I think it's very likely that the Bad Batch are going to be meeting up with Cut and that Omega is Force sensitive. Not only would this pave the way for the Bad Batch to remove Crosshair's inhibitor chip and get him to rejoin the Bad Batch, but this would create an opportunity for the series to show showcase the Bad Batch traveling the galaxy, searching for clones whose inhibitor chips they could remove, which would then open up the door for other clones such as Wolf and Gregor to appear in the series, two clones who Star Wars Rebels revealed remove their inhibitor chips at some point. This could even provide an opportunity for Commander Cody to possibly appear as well. Tell me that wouldn't be cool. Let's hope we see the Bad Batch figure out how to remove Crosshair's inhibitor chip because it'd be a bummer to see him at odds with the Bad Batch moving forward. As someone who loves rocking a sniper in Battlefront 2, Two, I've been fond of Crosshair since he was introduced in the Clone Wars, so I'm hoping we see him rejoin the Bad Batch at some time. But what do you guys think? Do you think we may see Crosshair rejoin the Bad Batch? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching, and stay nerdy.